I grew up in my childhood being able to spend a lot of summers out on a farm in the Olympic Peninsula and natural world and being outside gave me this great appreciation for wild intact places and our place and impact on those. I was drawn to conservation and restoration ecology for the opportunity that we could have to improve these natural ecosystems and to mitigate some of the damage that we've done. So this was set August 18th of 2020. It's been up a year. And there's 4,405 new pictures. As a volunteer, checking camera traps for data and wildlife going through Washington State, you get to see how diverse the species are, and you also get to see some of the problems that the wildlife might be encountering. This can be roads going through their habitat. This is a risk for them navigating through their habitat. And you're seeing clear cutting some of the old growth that those species like the fishers need. You're gonna see portions that have been removed. When I first started, which is in 2007, we didn't know there was wolves in Washington and wolverines were sometimes in the North Cascades and fishers hadn't been reintroduced yet and grizzly bears were still a mystery and their cascades in the Olympics, there's this feeling of this void of all these beings that were here that aren't there anymore and putting up cameras or doing snow tracking, it was like, oh, maybe this will be the year. And then, you know, over the years, it was like, oh, first wolves on a camera, uh, wolverines south of I-90, uh, fishers back in the Cascade, uh, pine martens, just like in the past, you know, 15 years, seeing that steady cascade of, of critters coming back and uh, being part of that and knowing that the people that are there are, are just people. It's, it's like, there's biologists, but it's like everyday people that are just really passionate and sort of seeing that wave of interest and passion from folks, everyday folks, is I think the most interesting and the most meaningful. See, this is a beautiful little series too, going up this tree here. People going out and being curious and looking for stuff and now look at it now, it's like the Cascades are full again and that feels pretty great. <laughs>